A mochaccino. A mochaccino with dark chocolate instead of white chocolate. It's called the M. Okay, so chocolate. Alright, what do we got? I got a cafe mocha. Oh, first good morning. <laughs> good first morning. C day. Alright, what do you got? Mochaccino, sorry, mochaccino. Yeah. I got a, oh, oh, so it was a Cafe Americano iced. But if you notice now, they uh, they give them to you in regular glasses if you get like an iced coffee. They used to be the plastic. I guess yours is. This is like cardboard. Yeah, that's cardboard. <laughs> no plastic lids anymore. No plastic lids. I had to ask for a plastic straw. I did bring my own plastic straws because again, paper straws yeah. are disgusting. Nice. But, yeah. So yeah, we just got our morning coffee and then we're going to head back and we're going to get going to brunch. And like I said last night, hopefully we'll get the new brunch menu. Okay, we got the elevator, we got to come. But I just did have shit. Is it? We made it to brunch, a long line, and yes, we do have the new brunch menu. Of course, feel a new thing. I haven't really looked at it, just gonna show it on camera first. I've seen we've watched a lot of videos of people having it and the stuff they had, so kinda can't wait to try it. It's our very first time trying it. So we have everybody here? Oh. What do you think of the new menu? Did you check it out yet? What's the potato? Uh, I don't know. Let us know in the comments what we'll pancetta is. We'll wait for you. Isn't it like a meat or something? I, I don't know. Okay, we're gonna check out the menu and then we'll let you know what we got. The food is here. What'd you get again? The frittata, and I got a side of cheese grits. Yep. And that is the. Uh, what's the name of that again? The 12 hour French stuff, that thing's pretty big. <laughs> and what was that, just an omelet? The omelet? Yep. And a Thank bacon. you. And we're just waiting for the rest of the food. That other thing looks pretty good. She is tearing that thing up like a steak. I know. She is, she is hungry, look at that. It's already shredded up. Uh, yeah, I'll eat all of it. Yeah, I might need more. You gotta bring the whole jar. Yeah, probably. Thank you. Mine is here. I got the uh, pancetta with potatoes and cheese grits, which I guess is still coming. I just tried some of that um, at 12 hour French toast. It's pretty good. Okay, there's the cheese grits. Oh, okay, awesome. So... <laughs> They'll throw it there. We'll make, we'll make room somehow. What's that? What's that? Thank you. What was that? Huh? What was that? Thank you. That's the skillet cake. It's a skillet cake. Yeah, that's the skillet cake. It's like, I guess it's like a pancake, but it has marshmallow, ricotta cheese, I need my lime and uh, something else I forgot. We just wanted to try it because it looked interesting. That's really but, good. That's the cheese. Yeah, I didn't want to commit to it by myself, so we, we just kind of share it and see, but it looks pretty good. All right. Yep, all right, we'll try breakfast. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> okay, we were having a good time at brunch. All right, this skillet cake was very, it was very good, but <coughs> it was very very sweet. I mean like extra extra I had sweet. Like a couple bites at it. Yeah, so I wouldn't get that as my main meal, mm -hmm. but we got it to share with everybody to try it. I mean it was good. Don't get me wrong, but it's just it's very very sweet. If you have a kid that likes sweet, that's probably good, but. The uh, pancetta thing was excellent. Yours was really good. I tried it. Yeah, everybody, everybody enjoyed their food. So the the new menu so far was pretty good. Even though I still am a little salty that they do not have my uh, what was it chipotle tomato fiery tomato soup or something like that. That was really good on the old bunch. But it's pretty good. But it's uh, it was pretty good. Um, yeah, the pancetta, the eggs were really, you know, it seemed pretty fresh. The meat was good, so yeah, everybody pretty much cleared their plate. That French toast was really good. I would, I would get the French toast, the twelve-hour French toast. So, but I would get that again too. <coughs> I usually get the eggs Benedict, but I wanted to try something different. But I assume it's probably the same as it was on the the old brunch menu. So, yeah.
So it's about 11, what time is it? It is uh, 11.21. I don't know what we're gonna do now. We were gonna do the, um, we were going to do the, uh, what was it called? The cooking demonstration in the steakhouse, but that starts in like just a few minutes, so I don't think we're going to make that one. So, I don't know, I guess we'll just check the app and see, what, <laughs> see what's going on. And, uh, alright, we'll check in with you a little bit. Yeah, brunch is done. Brunch is pretty good. We uh, enjoyed the new menu. Like I said, that was the first time we had it sitting here. Everything was pretty good. Uh, we're just taking a little break here back at the room. It's, a nice, it's kind of a nice day. It's gotten a little overcast since this morning. Um, the ocean seems pretty calm. I haven't filled the... Last night the ship was moving pretty good. Uh, it was rocking, but kind of enjoyed that at bedtime. But yeah, right now it's pretty calm for the most part. It's pretty windy, but it's, the temperature's nice. It's not hot, it's not cold. It's just a real nice temperature, so... Uh, there's not much... <clears throat> there's not much going on until... I think around 12.30 or so, there's, uh, we're doing pumpkin carvings and the lip sync uh, auditions or something, so we're probably going to hit that. Yeah, I think until then we'll just hang out, probably hit the casino a little bit and uh, see what's going on around the ship. So we're taking out cherry on top, let's see what goodies we have. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's not really good. I don't think I've had a lollipop like that in like, ages. I used to love those, those yeah. are pretty good. Uh, those are usual assortments, so we got anything good. Turtles. Whale tails, gummy turtles. right? Oh, that's, oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Gummy lobsters. Oh, gummy whales. Oh, this is the gummy section. Gummy oh, bananas. I bet those are good. Junk, oh, sharks. Killer shark gummies. Hmm. Ooh, chocolate covered almonds. That's my favorite. Everybody loves those, sort of. Maybe. Sour sharks. Break up chocolate. That's pretty good. There's a lot of gummies here. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, sugar free. That's cool. Oh, those are all sugar free stuff. That's pretty good. Hmm. Sour cherries. Sour strawberries. Jelly bellies. A lot of gummy stuff. Here's your, uh. Oh, there you go. That's for you right here. I found it. Unicorn pop. Unicorn pop. Poop. No, that's not unicorn pop. Unicorn <laughs> poop. What is that? What? What is it? It's like a lick. Rainbow Rain. filled licorice. Candies. Oh, licorice. Oh, I cannot stand licorice. What is this? Coffee twist. Huh, that's... Oh, what's that right there? Like what's that right there in the middle? This? Yeah, no, 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 yeah. This is an Astro Oh, that's one of those pop I remember those from. Mexico has always had... The last time we went, which was a long time ago, they had good candies and snacks in the stores. So I can't... Oh. No, cups. Warheads. Oh, look at the big Reese's. Get this. What is Play that? with the guys. Being boozled. Is that like a game or something? It is. Oh. Because they have, these are the flavors they have. Spoiled milk, oh. coconut. All oh, those things. Canned those. dog food, chocolate pudding, dead fish. Yeah. Mm. I remember the girls got that once and made me try one. It was like, oh my gosh. Pixie sticks, oh my gosh. <laughs> Can you imagine all those I consumed as a kid? Fireballs. I love fireballs, those are good. Kick hands. What do we got here? Ring pops, those are also mm -hmm. awesome. Tabasco. Oh. Jelly bellies. Jelly bellies. Oh, remember those things? Mm -hmm. and, hmm, I don't know. Candy corns. I love candy corns. I don't know why people hate on those things. I enjoy them. Do you enjoy them? I don't. Yes. What about you guys? You guys like candy corn? I like candy corn. Oh, we got here. Oh, 
It's yeah, kind of your standard nice. candy selection. Can I don't remember those. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the bit of honeys, I remember those. <laughs> junior mints, those are my favorites. I love me some junior mints. Oh, I've never seen those. Huh. Yeah. So we just got some sparkling stuff. So, yeah, not bad. I like the uh, cherry on top and the sunshine. It seems like they had a lot more, uh, what do you call them? Like, uh, variety? They had more like nostalgia. Oh, yeah. Is that what you would call it? Nostalgic can The older the older type candies? I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so that's the cherry on top on the Carnival Grease. So we had to stop by the coffee shop and see the goodies they had. We tried the donuts last time, and they honestly, they weren't that great. They were very uh, stale. Like, right? Is that the. Yeah. No, it didn't, they didn't have a donut consistency. Yeah, they didn't have that last time though. They were out of them. We might have to try that again though. The cupcakes we didn't try. They both said they had double chocolate, graham, elderflower, vanilla, bitter coffee. I think we only like three bucks. That's not bad. No. I think we're gonna try one. We'll try one before the uh, before our trip ends and see how they are. But uh, we are gonna head up to the Lido in a minute to see the what are we what are we watching? The auditions for lip sync battle. Yep, so we'll see you up there. And the pulled pork. 
Thank you. Where was she at over there? She's over there, huh? Louisa went over there. Oh. I don't want that. Let me show you the Let's see. Let's try the brown sugar bourbon. Just put a little bit. A little bit more. A little bit. Just a little bit. A little bit. Okay, that's good. We got Kansas City and Sriracha. This is sweet. Sweet. Yeah. Let's find where we're sitting. Ah, uh, there we go. Not a lot of tables out here. So we'll just sit over here and enjoy that barbecue. It's our afternoon update. We had some barbecue. It was delicious as always. Um, everybody tried it. It was uh, great. So um, it's about, let's see, hold on. It's a little bit about 2.15. We're going to do tea time at about 3. Uh, today is formal night, so Maria's making me go. So she's ironing or something with the shirt. So for the few minutes until we have to go to tea time. Uh, something really cool happened a little while ago. We ran into some uh, people who watch us, recognize us on YouTube, and stopped us and chatted with us and took some pictures. Uh, so that was really cool. It was the first time that happened to us. It, it made our day. It made us. It made our week actually. So it was really cool. It was really great to talk to them. So uh, thanks for stopping us. It was. Uh, it was great to meet you guys. Um, yeah. So you know, our first CD is going pretty well. The uh, the weather is really super nice out here. I mean, it is just so calm out. The ship is just smooth, uh, a little cloudy, but you know, it's keeping the temperature down. It's not really hot at all. Not much humidity, so it's, it's really nice to be outside. Um, I don't know what the weather is supposed to be in Cozumel tomorrow. I hope it's good. We are, we're there from nine to six, I think it is tomorrow. We're doing Nachi Kokum, the beach resort. Um, First time we've been there, so uh, that'll be a fun adventure tomorrow. Rest of the day today, like I said, we got tea time in a few. Today's formal night, and uh, I don't know, I think there's a comedy show tonight. Yeah, didn't seem like there was a whole lot going on today. But uh, one thing we noticed, you know, when we were here last time with the La Liga Loga group groups, that ship was like at capacity, you know, meaning that if you could fit five people in your room, there was five people in that room. And it was just a mess. It, was, it, was, it wasn't that great because there's a lot, a lot of kids and it was just so super crowded. This ship seems like, uh, supposedly it is full, but it really doesn't seem like it at all. It's not crowded anywhere. Um, it just didn't seem there's a lot of people. So it's actually, you know, perfect. Um, you know, there's still a lot of people around, especially at the pool and all that, but you know, some of the crowds you run into normally, like around the buffets and uh, the main areas by the bars, it's just not didn't seem that bad today, so it's real nice. And like I said, combined with the weather being real nice, yeah, it's it's making it for a perfect making it for a perfect cruise so far. So yeah, you got people enjoying the hot tub, the barbecue still open, people still people have been lining up for that barbecue. Well deserved too. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's our plans for the rest of the day. So I guess we will see you at tea time. I knocked over the towel animal. I almost sat on him. It's okay. I, I fixed him. He's it's all good. It's a what is, is that a um I don't know. I can never figure those things out. I don't know. All right. So, it's about 10 till um uh 3 and I'm about to head up to tea time. And if you didn't know, Carnival has a great app. Oh, let me. Sorry. It's the hub app and you know you can see all the stuff you're doing like right now uh we have a favored the tea yeah, i don't know if i hope you can see in the camera i have a favored tea time so it'll show you and people in our group that also have it 
who are interested in going, you can see that, which is really cool. And the really cool thing that we enjoy, especially when you're with other people, friends and family, is the chat feature. So we can chat with anybody. So I guess I can let them know that I'm heading over to uh, tea time. Oh, the light. Tea time in a minute. And it's five dollars. You can use the hub app for free for the scheduling and your account. It's a great way to, you can see how much money is left on your account, uh, your receipts, you know, like what you spent on. So that's a great way to keep up with your uh, spending account, especially if you're on a cash account where you know you might have your own uh, set limit. But if you want to chat with other people, you got to pay five dollars, and that's just five dollars per device for the whole cruise, not per day, not whatever. It's just five dollars for the whole cruise. So it's well worth it. Uh, the first day, it's also it's really kind of janky. It didn't work a lot yesterday. Um, one of our group chats I couldn't participate in, so we kind of had to restart it, had to uninstall un the app and restart it, and eventually it got it's it's pretty good. So that first day, you know, you might have to to just give it a few hours because our networks or whatever gets it gets you know overloaded with everybody getting on the ship. But it's a pretty cool thing. I, I always enjoy their app. They always seem to add to it. Um, so yeah, it's 10 till 3. Maria is in the casinos again. So I'm just going to text everybody that I'm heading over to tea time. It's on Blush on deck 4. So she'll only take a minute. And that's one thing, if anybody ever, people have asked me, why do you choose the rooms, or how do you choose the rooms? We're on deck 8. Oh, sorry, the light. We are on deck 8 in the aft part at the back of the ship. I choose that, especially on the breeze, because our el the elevators are right here. Oh, so we can get pretty much anywhere on the back of the ship within a minute or so, you know, depending on the elevators. Because in general, on carnival ships, in general, it might be different. Most of the food and stuff is going to be towards the back of the ship on day 10, 9, 11, that 12, the, the, you know, those areas. Starting some of the pools will be on the back too. We have a nice aft pool section here on the breeze. Uh, a lot of your stages, that kind of stuff, are going to be more towards the front of the ship. We don't care about stuff like that. We don't really go to shows, so we tend to stay away from the front of the ship. But in the back, you know, there's there's bars here. We can get right up to the limelight in just a second. Um, the piano bar is here. We can get to the casino and everything which is midship it's really easy to get to when you're back and you choose we always choose sorry yeah we always choose to be by the stairs and elevators that way it's just easy to get up and down and um i just plan it out that way when i book a cruise i don't do to where they pick your own room i, I want to know exactly where i'm going to be uh how i can get this stuff how close my room is to elevators and stairs and things like that so I know where I can get to the places we like on the ship I mean if you like shows and all that then you probably won't want to be back here in the back of the ship but for all the stuff most of the stuff that we do the back of the ship is perfect so that's why I always pick typically aft aft mid kind of that middle section um, and always have pretty good and like I said it depends what ship it is but uh, sunshine the breeze we've been on things like that that's tend to work out good for us but you just kind of study the deck the deck plans just take your time download the PDF file for it. it's on carnival site and just look and then you know when it's time to pick your room make a few choices see what's available and uh, pick them so that's my uh, little tip for us I don't know if I showed it before on the video our, our cool little Halloween with some tape and eyes I made a little sign for our channel and a little pumpkin.